Good day, my dear grade 7 students. Welcome to our quarter 1, week 2, day 1 lesson. I am your teacher, Mona Lisa Zafer Aganit. Let's start. Your substances have constant composition and cannot be separated into simpler substances. There are, there are two main types. The first one, we have elements, and then the other one is a compound. Let us differentiate elements and compounds based on composition. When we say element, when we say element, it consists of one type of atom. As you can see in the given example in the picture, there is only one type of atom here. We have Na, we have Li, and we have O. While compounds consist of two or more elements chemically bonded at a fixed proportion. So look at the given example here. So we have oxygen here, O, and we have H here. So dalawang H and then isang O. And then on the other side, we have Na, 1 Na, and 1 Cl. In terms of chemical formula or chemical symbol, element is represented using chemical symbol. Example, we have sodium atom. It is represented with a chemical symbol of Na. And lithium atom is represented using Li symbol. And then oxygen atom represented using capital letter O. While a compound is represented using a chemical formula. Again, yung element po, chemical symbol, yung compound, chemical formula. So, example, we have hydrogen and oxygen. So, the symbols are H, there are two hydrogens and one oxygen. And for sodium and chlorine, we have NaCl. Okay, so let's apply Natutunan na ba natin yung concept kanina? So write yes if you agree with the statement and write no. Yes if you agree, no if you disagree. Question number one. Sodium chloride is a compound. So what is your answer? Let us check. Yes, the answer is yes. Because there are two elements here. We have sodium and chlorine. And then the second question we have Lithium is an example of compound. Ang lithium ba ay isang compound? Let us check your answer. Okay, the answer is no because lithium is an element, not a compound. Next, number three. Element is represented using chemical formula. Let us check your answer. Okay, the answer is no. Why? Element is represented using chemical symbol. Okay? Okay, so let's analyze. So I have here illustrations. The first illustration, we have sodium. sodium. The second one, we have sodium chloride or NaCl. Okay, so the first question is, which of the two illustrations show single type of atom? Kapag sinabing single type of atom, iisang klase lamang po yung nakikita ninyo. Huwag nyo pong isipin yung, yung, nam, yung kung ilan. Yung sing, pag sinabing single type, isang klase lang ang nakikita ninyo. Okay? So, yung Na ba ay iba rin sa Na dito? Ito po ba ay iba rin magkaiba ng itsura? Same lang po sila. How about this one? Na and Cl, magkaiba po ba o iisa lang? magkaiba. So, alin po kaya ang inyong sagot? So, the answer for number one, obviously, is letter A. Because sodium, ang sodium po ay single type of atom lamang. Next, number two, which of the illustration is an example of a compound? If a compound is consist of different types of atom, alin dyan? Kung ang compound daw ay binubuo ng magkaiba, ang klase ng atom, so, alin dyan ang compound? So, the answer, therefore, is letter B. Correct. 
Okay, so we are now in quarter 1, week 2, day 2. Okay, so let us discuss the history and basis of naming elements. So, paano ba binibigyan ng pangalan ng isang element? Uh, the history, nasa module po ninyo, so hindi ko na pwede discuss dito kasi masyado po siyang marami. So, instead, I will discuss to you the periodic table and how to name or how to, what are the basis of naming elements. So, here is a periodic table of the elements. This is a chart where you can find, o ano yung mga makikita ninyo dito, different symbols, mga letters. And below that, different symbols is the name of the element. And as you can see also, there are different colors. And then, it contains also different numbers, dun po sa taas ng kanilang symbols. Okay, so scientists decided to give symbols for its element to avoid writing the full names. Instead, one or two letters may be used. And then, most of the letter, most of the one letter symbols po are the first letters of these elements. Example, so yung hydrogen, uh, the first letter is letter H. So, isa lamang po yung kanyang symbol, letter H lang. Why, lahat po ba ng elements ay isang symbol lang? No. Some of the elements ay or rather consist of capital and small letters. So, dalawang letter. So, for the two letter symbols, most of them start with the first letter of the element and the second letter in the symbol may be any letter found in the element's name. So, yung, yung capital letter galing po dun sa first letter ng kanyang pangalan and then the second one ay kahit anong letter po na makikita sa kanyang pangalan. At present, there are 118 elements with different properties. So, elements are classified into three. We have metals, non-metals, and metalloids. So, in the 19th century, Dimitri Mendeleev formulated the periodic table, a table of elements which describe their structures. Again, Dimitri Mendeleev formulated the periodic table. So, what are the bases in naming the chemical elements? The first one is the person who discovered the element. Like, like for example, Einsteinium. So, ang nakadiscover po niyan is si Albert, Albert Einstein. Kaya pinangalan po sa kanya, so Einsteinium. And then, the second basis po, the place where the element was discovered. Example is Polonium. So, it was named after the country Poland. And then, Latin or Greek roots, so deriving from something related to the element. So, example po is ferrum. Ferrum is a Latin word na ang ibig sabihin po sa English ay iron. Okay? So, yung symbol po na Fe ay galing po dito sa kanyang Latin word. Okay? And then, the next one is argentum. Ganon din po from the Latin word. So, ang ibig sabihin naman po niya ay silver. So, pinangalan yung kanyang symbol po ay galing po doon sa kanyang Latin word na Argentum. Okay? And then, the next one is Hydrargyrum. Ang ibig sabihin naman po ay Mercury. So, yung symbol na HG po ay galing po doon sa first two letters po ng Latin word na Hydrargyrum. And, we have the Plumbum. Okay, na ang ibig sabihin naman po ay lead. So, yung symbol po is capital P and small b na nanggaling naman po dito sa kanyang Latin word na plumbum. Ito po. Yan. So, the fourth basis of naming an element is the mythological concept or character including an astronomical object. Ano ba yung mga astronomical object like planet, stars, and the likes. So, example is titanium. Titanium, name of titans of Greek mythology. So, yung symbol po na TI ay nandun po sa word na titans. Galing po. 
And then we have Neptunium, so from Neptune. And we have Uranium from Uranus naman. Alright, so let's apply. Natutunan ba natin yung lesson sa day 2? So for this, let's apply part. You're going to identify the basis of the names of the following elements. Number 1, Thorium with a symbol capital T and small h. Ano kaya yung basis ng pagpapangalan sa thorium element? Let us check the answer. Okay, so thorium, ang basis po niyan is mythological character. It was named after Thor. Yung mga mahilig ba naod dyan ng uh, movie. So si Thor po is the Norse god of thunder. Yan. Next. Ruther for Jum. Saan naman kaya pinangalan? O ano yung basis ng pagbibigay ng pangalan sa kanya? So, it was named after Ernest Rutherford or rather Ford. So, sa tao. Pinangalan sa tao. Next. Ayan. So, nasa quarter one week to day three na po tayo. So, what is our topic for this day? Important elements available in the market, home, and the community. So, I have here the elements and the different uses. To start with, copper. So, saan ginagamit yung copper? Used in electrical wiring. How about argon and tungsten? It's present in incandescent light bulbs. Ayan yung ginagamit na filament sa inyong bulb. We have gold and silver. Saan ginagamit po yan? Used as pieces of jewelry. Aluminum. Used in kitchen utensils. Mercury. Present in some thermostats. And in switches in space heaters that turn off when tipped over. Alright, so let's apply again. So, in this activity, you're going to identify the element needed below. Choose your answer from the choices inside the box. So, these are the choices. We have gold, argon, oxygen, and copper. First question, life support in diving. So, alin kaya dyan ang pwedeng gamitin? So, the answer here is oxygen. Because oxygen is needed. So, kapag nag- the dive po tayo o especially kapag nasa malalim na part na po tayo ng dagat, hindi po tayo makakahinga. So, we need oxygen. Okay, next, number two. Best feeling for cavities. So, yung mga nagpapapasta, ano kaya yung pinakamagandang ipapasta sa ngipin na nabubulok na? So, sabi po dito, the answer is gold. So, wow, may gold sa ngipin, kanakaw na kaw. Alright. So, let us now, ayan, malapit na tayong matapos, quarter one week, to day four na po tayo. So, what is our topic for day four? Important compounds useful to humans, environment, and industry. So, let's recall muna. So, look for the things you used at home. Example po, alcohol, o kaya face powder, and many others na ginagamit niyo sa bahay. Look and read the label and fill in the table below. Okay. So, I have here an example. The product na napili ko po is isopropyl alcohol. And then, ito po yung kanyang chemical formula. So, ano yung compound present dito sa product na napili ko sa isopropyl alcohol? So, ito po yung compound present. The C3 H8O. So, yun po yung isusulat ninyo sa part na to dito po sa compound present. Okay, so malinaw po. Let us continue. Okay, so let's understand. So, these are the different compounds and uses of some important compounds to human market and industry. So, the first one is water. Okay, so water sustains life. 
and then we have sodium chloride or that is also known as the table salt the chemical formula is NaCl so saan ginagamit yan it is used in cooking ayan it is used in cooking preserving and cleaning how about sucrose or that is also known as the table sugar the chemical formula is C12 H22 and O11 so saan ginagamit yan it is used in baking cooking and as sweetener so kung mahilig kayo magkape kailangan nyo na ang sugar next we have acetic acid or also known as vinegar so the chemical formula is CH3 COOH saan naman ginagamit yan as preservative, ginagamit, uh, ginagamit as preservative. And then for cleaning purposes also. Next, acetone. Ayan, nautusan ba kayo ng mga nanay ninyo na bumili ng acetone sa tindahan? So, para saan yun? And what is the chemical formula? So, we have 2 CH3 and CO. Saan ginagamit? Acetone is used as nail polish remover pang tanggal po ng kulay sa kanilang mga koko okay so let's apply again tutunan ba natin yung ating discussion yung lesson kanina identify one chemical so only one chemical compounds isa lang po ang kailangan ko that you regularly use at home explain the uses and then, how does it help you? Paano kayo natulungan ng product, natutulungan ng product na ito? So, for me, yung example na binigay ko po is yung binigay ko na kanina, the isopropyl alcohol. Okay? So, ano yung uses niya? O ano yung saan siya ginagamit? So, ginagamit ko siya as disinfectant. So, paano ako natutulungan nito? So, alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, prevents the growth of bacteria on my skin. So, ganyan po yung gagawin niyo sa let's apply part. Okay? Okay, so let's try now. Complete the table below. Okay, so example, uh, examples of your substances. Elements, element ba siya or compound? Okay, so example po dito, number one, is hydrogen peroxide with the chemical formula of H2O2. So, element ba siya or compound? So, dahil siya ay mayroong dalawang element, isang H, uh, dalawang H, dalawang O, H saka O, so siya po ay compound. So, kapag compound po ang sagot ninyo dito sa part na to, kapag compound po ang sagot dito, write down the names, write down the names of constituent elements. Isusulat daw po yung mga kasamang elements dun sa compound. So, ano-ano yung mga yon So, we have hydrogen and oxygen. So, for example number 2, sodium. So, Na, yung kanyang symbol. So, dahil symbol lang po yung nakikita ninyo, nag-iisa lang siya, that is an element. So, bakit wala po nakasulat sa part na to? Sabi po kasi sa instruction, di ba? Kung compound ang sagot po sa part na to, dito sa part na to, sa kalamang po paglalagay doon kung anong klasing mga elements ang kasama. Since ang sagot po natin is element, so there's no need to indicate or to write here, the constituent elements. Kasi element nga lang po yung sagot natin. Okay, malinaw po. Okay, so, we are now with the let's create part. So, for your let's create part, this is the instruction. What if you are a scientist who discovered an element? How are you going to name it and why? So, kung ikaw daw ay isang scientist, nakadiscover ka ng isang element. Paano mo ito bibigyan ng pangalan at bakit yun ang ibibigay mong pangalan? 
Alright, so tapos na po tayo. That's it for our second week. Good luck guys and thank you very much. Keep safe and God bless us all.